So let's see this uh, sort example from Captain Chaudhary's S. S. Chaudhary's book, Chapter Twenty Two, which he calls also the three bearings with two or three different points at known interval. So this is question twenty two. The E C that is E C three lighthouse is bearing three five zero at ten hundred and at one zero two four. From a vessel steering zero eight zero zero, the zero eight zero degrees two at twelve knots, Greenwich Poi four zero one three at eleven hundred. So at ten hundred the bearing was three five zero, at one zero two four the bearing was three three zero, and the vessel was steering, and uh, at zero eleven hundred the bearing of this boy Greenwich Poi was zero one three. The current is given setting one one three, and the vessel is steering. Course is given zero eight zero. So you can see that true bearings are given at different times, and these bearings are not meeting at one time. So it is true bearing, so it cannot be horizontal sextant angle method, and. Uh, it is at different timings and bearings are not meeting so it cannot be three point method or a running fixed method because we don't have the set and rate also so we need at least four unknown things four known things to find the position the thing in running fixed method so what all things we have to find out we have to the course and speed made good we have to find the rate of the current and we have to find the position of the vessel at the time of third bearing so we will see the fish triangle method so as we know the first point is we will plot all the three bearings and mark them indicating the time of observation 10 121024 and 1100 so we have marked all the three bearings 10 100 1024 and 1100 from the respective lighthouse and the boy as given in the question and we have marked the timings now from a we draw the course 080 which is given in the question and it is at 12 knots so difference with from 1000 to 1024 24 minutes the run that ship will run at we will uh, put an arc at c and from b difference between 1100 and 1024 that is 36 minute how much the ship will run that distance we will mark at d now from uh, c we draw the set and wherever it cuts the second transferred pl that will be our point f before that we have already transferred the first pl at c and second pl at d and wherever they cut that is our point e and from c we plot the set and wherever it cuts the second transferred pl that is the pl 1100 pl that is our point f now now we have plot the set from c and wherever it cuts it is our point f from f we draw the course to steer and wherever it cuts the third pier that is our point g we join a and g and wherever it cuts the set that is our point h now we have to join e and h and wherever it cuts the middle pier that is our point i so we join e and h wherever it cuts the second pier 1024 pier that is point i from i we transfer the set and wherever it cuts the first pier that is our point j and wherever it cuts the second pier that is our point k now from k and j we have to plot the course to steer and after plotting the course to steer wherever from j that is the first transferred pier it cuts the 
first pair that is our point L that is our 1000 fix and from K wherever it touches M that is the third pair that is our 1100 fix and then we join L to M that is our course made good we can measure the course made good and the speed made good CMG SMG or distance made good if it is not one hour so just a recap we plot all the three bearings two bearings of 1000 and 11.1024 and then third bearing of 1100 and then we assume a point A from there we draw the course to steer which will reach and cut the third bearing at B from A we mark an engine distance of first and second bearing C and then from B we mark an engine distance of third and between third and second bearing that is D from C we transfer the first PL from D we transfer the second uh, third PL 1100 PL and wherever they cut that is our point E from C we draw the set and wherever it cuts the second transfer wheel that is point F from F we draw the course to steer wherever it cuts the third wheel that is point G from G and A we join and wherever it cuts the CF set line that is point H we join E and H wherever it cuts the second wheel 1024 wheel that is point I from I we transfer the set that is JK that is uh, wherever it cuts the first PL that point we mark as J and wherever it cuts the third PL that is 1100 PL we mark K from K we draw the course to steer that is from the third transfer PL to third PL course to steer wherever it cuts point M that is our 1100 piece that's what we are asked in the question we can measure from the chart and uh, from J we transfer the course to steer at its point L wherever it cuts the first field and that is our 1000 fix if we are asked if we are we in this question we are asked course and speed made good by vessel so from L to M is our course made good speed made good and the distance made good so just uh, quickly read the procedure that we tra uh, transfer the 1000 and uh, 1024 uh, using the course and distance and uh, transfer the 1100 position to get the transfer position line for 1024 so we transfer all the three position lines at 1024 to get a common intersection point that is our main aim then pl1 and pl2 intersect each other at e select any point and uh, we put this uh, set we first plot the course which you already done and we put the set and you can follow this method and you can get the answer from here so here we get the course made good 085.5 speed made good 14.25 uh, knots hourly drift is equals to length is equals to 2.8 meter and position of the vessel as third bearing is this so that's it uh, please like subscribe and if please stay tuned for further videos and questions thank you